have to have anything outdoors with Steve. It's supposed to be a pretty cold night, so I'm gonna test this hammock out in cold temperatures. So that way, before I get up in the mountains, I know if it's gonna work for me or not. Uh, I'm gonna set this up real quick. I plan on doing a little thermal scan of it with me sleeping in there for a bit, just to see where my temperature losses might be. Sorry, I'm making too much noise. It's got an air mattress that comes with this that's rated down to zero degrees, and I'm using a blanket that's from Zen Bivy that's supposed to be rated to 10 degrees. Uh, current temperature right now is 15. It's supposed to drop down to single digits and maybe down below zero, but I figure this is the perfect time to test it, and no better place to test it than at home instead of up in the mountains when you need it most. I figure if I need to plan for something better than what this offers, then it's better to know now than later. I'm gonna try to hang this up real quick. Hopefully I can span these out far enough. We'll find out real soon. These ends are labeled port and starboard. So we've got port for red, starboard for green. So red is left, green is right. That puts your uh, foot the same way you're facing. This thing's got a little image of the direction you put the clip in so that way it doesn't slip. And you can test that by giving it a little tug because it will slip right away. Fingers are already getting cold. I've only been out here for a few minutes. It's crazy. It's actually to the point where I can't really even tighten the strap. Easy. Oh. All right, next up is get the little mattress in there. I actually thought about setting this up ahead of time so I wouldn't be fighting it, one, in the dark, which I've got lights on, and two, in the cold, because the temperature's never dropped. But, such a minor difference. So the idea is to wear only clothes that I typically hike in. Um, I normally have thermals underneath and a thermal shirt. I think this time I'm just gonna uh, throw on my puffy jacket and bed in just to see how bad it gets. I am going to throw a tarp over top. And I think I'll just go for it. So typically I bring a little camp pillow. Um, I'm going to just grab a normal pillow because it's not an insulator really. Uh, the one I've got has air so it's going to be the same insulation as a standard pillow. So I'm just going to throw a standard pillow in here. Um, also, I'm not going to raise up the foot and head with a stick. I'm just going to throw a tarp over top and zip up the fly screen. 
I don't want to go trepsing out trying to find a stick that'll work and I haven't purchased the actual poles that go in there. So that might be kind of a downside to this setup is typically I've got these propped up to where it gives a little extra cushion above because without them they lay flat like that. So typically with the stick in, it'll prop it up just like this on both the head and the foot. So now the head portion is going to be kind of flopped down on top of me. Um, I might try to figure out a way to prop it up, but I just don't have any sticks around. If I find something, I'll stick it in there. Let's see what the, I brought the thermometer out with me. It's already dropped down to about 20. It's still dropping. Uh, we've got 15 out here uh, on the house thermometer. So I'm going to just stick this on, put the camera in with me. And I'm going to set up the blanket and stuff in here first, but I'm going to look for a stick, see if I can find anything that'll work. I'm getting ready to hop in. Um, I had to switch coats. This is not a standard hiking coat, but uh, my hood that I typically wear, or my hat that I typically wear, is in the shop. So instead of going all the way out there <clears throat> to get it, I'm just, I just switched up coats. This camera really does not like in the cold right now. It's 14 degrees currently, so I'm going to climb in. I'm going to set the thermometer inside on the ridge line. I'm getting about a minute of footage each time, and it and it uh, turns off. Yeah, we're at 14 degrees. All right, and mostly nestled in. I had to take off my gloves to run the camera. Get some light on. There we go. I don't know why you can't see me. Or maybe you can. Anyway, I'm all nestled in. So far, I'm pretty warm. The last thermometer reading I said I uh, saw was 12 degrees. And uh, Tyler came out with the thermal scanner. He said he was reading 10. And we'll see what uh, our heat losses here are in a few minutes. And. There shouldn't be a whole lot. I'm actually kind of warm just with the uh, tarp draped over the top. Uh, I don't have it tied off. The tarp is not tied off at the foot end. It's just tied off at the hand, head. So if the wind does pick up, I'll probably regret that. Um, but as it is now, just it, it's just like a tent right now. So I'm getting maybe 10 seconds of record time each time now. Um, so I should be just fine, actually. Uh, my whole body is currently warm but that can change any time i can hear tyler coming out ready to do a thermal scan on me um, maybe i can convince him to do one on my backside see if he can see it but we'll see what that looks like so tyler is doing some scans for me and he got some temperature readings it's currently zero degrees outside we are right at freezing 32 degrees maybe a little bit above 34 degrees inside the hammock and my nose is feeling a little cold but that is about it let's get just scanned back around here um i don't have gloves on right now i'm just using this for light so you can see me i'm getting ready to call it a night and get to sleep um as it is now it's not too bad my butt is a little cold, but that is it. Uh, it's not too bad. And if I, yeah, if I stuff some blanket underneath, I'm sure that'll uh, take away even that little bit of chill. So I think I'm going to sleep just fine. So right now outside, we have about zero degrees. I'm sure it'll drop down. Uh, I think we were supposed to get negative five to negative seven tonight. I'm going to keep this thermometer inside. And like I say, I just have this uh, tarp draped over me right now. It's snowing, if you can hear it. And so it's starting to build up on a few spots. So I've got, I don't know if we can see here, right here. It's starting to build up. I might end up with a, a snow pile on top of me here. And we'll see how bad it gets. I think we're only supposed to get two inches of snow tonight. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fall asleep here.
We'll see how long this lasts. Oh, I don't have a watch on either, so I don't even know what time it is. <laughs> All right, let's see. We are at 1240 right now. And coldest temps will be about 3 a.m. So I'm going to slip my mittens on just to make sure my hands don't get cold. And I think I'll pull up the hood because I don't even have it pulled up yet. We'll kind of see what happens. Good night. <clears throat> well, good morning. It is 7 a.m. right now. I don't know if you can see this or not, but well, my little Zoe pup, she hears me out here. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but everything's covered in a nice layer of ice. And wherever the hot spots are, I'm melting it and it's dripping off. Hit me right in the face. Nice. So I'm getting water drips on me. Um, the inside temperatures got to 20. Outside, maybe negative 5, negative 7 range. But uh, I had to take my gloves off. My hands were getting too warm. Uh, my hands were just sweating like crazy inside the gloves. But... I would say all in all, it wasn't that bad. With the temperatures that low, it's a fine line of being uh, just too cold and too hot. So you're fighting this little fine line of, you know, if you move just the wrong, negative five. <laughs> if you're covered up just right, then you're almost sweating all the time. So I've got a pretty good frost layer in here. And right here above my face, right here, is just melting off because of the heat pouring out. Um, my blanket has got a fine frost layer on top from just all the condensation from my breath. So a little more ventilation probably would have helped, but I've got snow right on top of this pressed down, so it's it's uh, yeah, getting rid of some of it. Um, so that's part of the issue too. Uh, of course, the camera's kind of fogged up as well. I had to warm it up because it wouldn't operate without being warmed up first. I'll climb out of here and go in the house and say hi to the puppers that are wondering what the hell I'm doing out here. So I'm gonna grab my stuff, take a little video clip of what it looks like from the outside, which as soon as I get out, I'll knock all the snow off so it won't be covered in snow anymore, but there'll be a nice pile of snow around it. And, uh, you know, so my sleep gear was like, I, I think I may have mentioned, but I might've forgot, but, uh, I wasn't wearing them thermals, which I typically wear. And that probably would have helped with that. Uh, of course I would be too hot, but then I just unzipped the coat and let out some of the heat everywhere you touch on the hammock on the bottom side where the pad is not. Uh, it's negative five again, so I've got a nice uh, frost layer on both sides of me as well. But I'm going to strip the blanket and pillow out and let the hammock hang and drag it in later. All right. Thanks for joining and just had to test this out just to make sure that when I'm camping come springtime and we hit teens or zero, up in the mountains because sometimes it does that that it would be just fine with this setup because this is my new hiking gear this is what i brought with me on the enchantment hike and it had only got down to the high 20s uh, i never was able to test this fully which i'm kind of glad because you know the enchantments if it would have got down to zero degrees i'm sure the other campers would not have appreciated that and bailed right away this setup seems to be working pretty well. And this is just a sleeping pad underneath. So there's no under quilt and my top quilt and that's it. Um, I did have a full pillow, but like I say, I normally bring an inflatable one. So it's about the same other than comfort. Uh, the inflatable one, it's smaller. So you're anytime you move around, you're, you're leaving your pillow. Sleep is not nearly as comfortable as your own bed, but it's pretty close. 
I'm able to sleep on my side. I did some belly sleeping. Um, I, again, wish I would have got the longer version of this. But because uh, when I belly sleep, the sleeping pad actually folds up underneath of me. And it does create a spot for my arms then. And it's actually pretty comfortable because now I can sleep right on my arms. And, and the sleeping pad folds up creating a space for them. So it's kind of nice actually belly sleeping. If the pad was maybe another uh, six inches wider and really all I need is another four inches longer from my head to toes so they're not pressing when I'm belly sleeping because a lot of times when I belly sleep I put my arms above my head. With that space created underneath it, it wasn't too bad. Um, of course with the snow pressing it was laying right on top of my head and and then wherever I had an air hole from the blanket, it would uh, start billowing out and hitting the surface here and freezing up and dripping down wherever the hot spots are. So right now, all this right here is a hot spot, so it's just wet and ready to drip on me. Now that I've kicked the snow off, it's not as bad. All right, I'm going to pack up and go inside, maybe have some coffee. Warmed it up to 25 already. <laughs> 